Hey guys, Double Heart Angel here. It's time for a long waited speed art video of me making the Scream 6 fan art poster. Now, you guys, or at least many in my Instagram, has asked me to make this speed art. So, I am. And it's coming out right now. And wait, where is this? Weird. Okay. Where did this knife come from? Well, anyway, I will voice over a little bit of the techniques that I made and how I made it and what I thought when I made it, but I won't spoil the movie. I can tell you though that I loved it. It was really nice, like the best Scream movie, I would say, so far. If you don't count the first, of course. Anyway, if you like my content, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that thumbs up, ring that bell, to know that there's new videos coming right go tell your friends about this channel and stay tuned for more and let's just begin hello let's play a game you know you're like the 10th guy to try this right it never works out for the dipshit in the mask maybe but there's never been one like me gail i'm something different that's why i'm gonna shoot you in the head Okay guys, so the movie takes place in New York, right, so, and I found this beautiful drone shot of Manhattan in Adobe stock that I had to use for this as a background. Anyway, I started to build this podium from scratch and as a background object because I saw it fit for this poster and very intriguing scene in the movie also. Now. I built it basically by making the whole room from scratch just using the floor area and the figures from the actual movie. Anyway, the ghost face figure also, he was actually a toy. Now, I won't bore you guys how I got the characters for this picture, but basically I used a neural filter to enhance them and I will go through how to make unique movie fan movie posters in a tutorial uh, later on. And I just added the mask from the movie to him and warped him a bit the pose to make it more intimidating. I decided to go with the slogan that is super active, New York, new rules. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty accurate for the movie. <laughs> Now I played around a lot with how to make the lower edge of the poster um, with straps of cloth or and whatever, but I decided that I will go pretty basic way and uh, you, I, I used this uh, grudge brush from artstation.com. Uh, I based the poster's lower edge from the original uh, movie poster, but I also made off-camera a silhouette of the Statue of Liberty, and uh, that I then added to the torn masked lower edge.
One of my followers asked how I blended this and the answer is simply or unsimply. I did more than five different uh, adjustment layers in category to every single asset. So that's five exposure layers, five uh, shadow layers somehow and five U layers. And to top it off I added a smoke overlay that uh, would give more drama to the picture. Overall this picture took me about four and a half hours to make. But I still think it came out pretty good and the client that wanted it liked it. So yeah. Small details taking uh, the ghost face from the movie scenes and adding him in the background uh, as a reflection in the, in the glass. Something you don't even see if you don't know it's there. But I think it gave a little flavor to it. Go check it out on my Instagram account and anyway, thank you guys for this horrific, I mean, it's a good one, but still. Anyway guys, I'm Double Art Angel, thank you for watching this long weighted speed art video. Even though this was an extra on my agenda, it has been ton of fun and I'll catch you in the next one.